Welcome back everybody to the Real Madrid Galactico rebuild. Today is just going to be a kind of catch up for the end of the season. Obviously last video we got knocked out of the Champions League and we were so far ahead in the league that it was going to be a, a bit of a disaster to lose that many games to not win the league. So as you can see we are uh, La Liga title winners. 28 points clear of Barcelona and let's just have a look at results so obviously 6-0 Barcelona was the last one and we've gone unbeaten with just an away draw 0-0 against Valencia putting 11 goals past the Laves. now this was an incredible game everyone on the score sheet Hazard getting a hat-trick like we just absolutely annihilated them, and six past Bilbao. I think that's a pretty good result as well. Bilbao aren't a bad side. Hazard getting another hat trick, and then obviously today we're going to be playing at Atletico Madrid, who have sneaked back up into top four. So they kind of need to beat us, or at least get a draw. I think to seal top four. Vigo have really fell down the band, down the line though, all the way down to 10th. They've had shocking results recently, I think. Yeah, as you can see, they've lost their last five games. Haven't won in their last six. Bit of a shame, really, because they're a team that I was liking in this save. Before we start our game against Atletico Madrid, I'm just going to show you somebody that we've agreed to bring in next season so by securing Champions League football we were promised 112 million uh, transfer budget for next season so I went out and signed someone that I really thought would be a, an upgrade as such to what we currently have and here he is Matis Delict. so I think it's 104 million I want to say that we're signing him for yeah which yeah it's a lot of money but he's Probably one of the best centre-halves on this game. He's only 23, so you still got many years. And I think him next to Bastoni, it, it's going to be world-class partnership. Like He's definitely an upgrade on Milito. Okay, so here's the lineup for the last game of the season against Atletico Madrid. Obviously a Madrid derby. Mbappe on the left, Asensio on the right. Eddie Amy up top as an advanced forward because apparently I think when I signed him to a new contract I made a promise to play him as an advanced forward so last couple of games I've been playing him there just so I can keep that promise. Jovic as a false nine. <clears throat> We're playing Kamavinga and Ravella in central midfield which could potentially in the next couple of years be what our main midfield duo is. Mendy, Marla on wing backs and full backs. And then Bastoni and Amy comes in to get a bit of game time at centre-back. Because again, he's a player that in the next year or two I want to start giving more chances. And then Courtois in goal. Obviously next season, Amy won't be getting starts because De Ligt and Bastoni will be our main centre-backs. And I'll have to be rotating in Milito. But Amy could potentially be our fourth centre-back and Vallejo might potentially get moved on. Because he doesn't really play. I can't really remember how many games he played this season. He's made nine appearances. Four of them. Only five of them starts. He's played, He's made seven appearances in Champions League. But obviously, Amy will get more game time. So his game time will get cut even more. And here's the Atletico Madrid lineup. So they're playing five at the back. A bit like a Christmas tree, really. With one up top, with one behind, two in central midfield, and also a holding midfielder. So, not a formation you usually see. And straight from the off, we've got a highlight. Amy can pick that up there. <clears throat> now you see Atletico Madrid sitting back in their shape, playing counter-attacking football as usual. But Stoney no pressure on him and he's managed to pick Asensio out and to be honest he probably should do better there but it's a good save from our black 
Asensio will deliver this. Bastoni gets up, and it's a great save from Oblak. But Kamavinga's apparently offside. So, good start. Three minutes in. We're going to have a corner here, which Asensio will deliver again. So, we've already seen that threat from Bastoni, and he heads this one just wide. All right, we've got a throw in here, Mendy. Kamavinga's on it. Mendy will deliver. Adi Amy back post, and he's put his header over. We've had a couple of um, couple of chances here already. We're gonna have another corner. Ravella this time. He finds Amy. O Black saves it. It's dropped to Mbappe, but VAR is going to be checking an offside here. And it's given. So Amy heads that. O Black does well. It just drops to Mbappe. I don't really know who. They're looking at for offside there, but we're not even going to get to see. And we're one lot. Marla with a throw in. Poor throw in. Joel Felix wins that. Ravella gets across to win it back. And we look to break again. Ravella picks out Jovic and he smashes it over. Normally he does a lot better in them situations. And then we're going to come back and rue these chances. Right, throw in for Atletico, Savage on the ball, Semedo, Joao Felix, a better ball there, and I think Suarez is in. But it's going to come back with Marla, Asensio, Ravella's getting on the ball, he's picked out Mbappe, working it out wide, Mendy, he's got down to the byline, he's delivered, and I don't know what Diviv is doing here, but he's give it to Adi Amy, he's just got to tap in. A team that normally just clear their lines and Devives tried to pass this. Adi Amy intercepts it and he's got a tap in. Shocking play from Atletico Madrid here. He's tried to give it to Savage for some reason instead of just clearing his lines. And Adi Amy pounces on it. Going to be another corner for Real Madrid. Ravella to deliver. A stone he gets on this one. Oblak gets a hand to it but he can't keep it out. Bastoni gets his goal. It's been coming. We've had a lot of those corners where our centre arse have won the initial header. And Oblak can't keep this one out. Three 0 half hour gone. And after that mauling of Barcelona, are Atletico Madrid gonna get the same treatment? Carrasco on the ball now. He plays it back to Coke, Jimenez, Lorente, he's gone wide, Semedo's nowhere near it, Mendy will bring it back, and now Mbappe on the counter. He's still going, he's still going, he's inside the box now. Adi Amy gets the rebound and it's four. That's actually his 50th goal for Real Madrid. Not a bad landmark already, to say he's only been there two years, this is his second year. I mean, the pace of Mbappe here, he's direct. Probably could have pulled it back there, but he gets a shot away. No black can only parry it into Adi Amy. Going to be another highlight straight from the kickoff. Joao Felix now. He's got a bit of, bit of space, but there's not many up with him. Carrasco, it's come back to Lorente, Coke, Joel Felix, it's a great ball to Rodrigo, and they've pulled one back. It's a nice little bit of football the way they've worked this, Joel Felix being the danger man, and no one's close enough to DePaul, and he can get a shot away in the box, and it's 4-1. We've got another corner of Asensio. Stoney gets this. Oblak saves it. He drops to Ravella. I think he's onside. It looks like it's going to be 5 1. Yep, not even checked. Stoney heads it. Oblak saves it. Ravella's there for the rebound tapping. And he caps what's been a great performance already with a goal. And at half time, it's just the case of carry on doing what you're doing. Don't let your, your standards drop. 
Rodrigo de Paul with a free kick. It's well won by Amy. Jovic can come away and Real Madrid are on the counter. He finds Adi Amy in behind. Adi Amy pulls out a good save from Oblak. And that I think that was his hat trick chance. Ravelli will deliver this corner. Oblak will come and claim. And that's the end of that. Right, we've got a throw in with Mindy. Up to Adi Amy. Gives it him back. Jimenez has won the ball off him. Gives it to Savic. He then goes long to Kuna, but Bastoni gets across to win that header. Courtois, Marler in a lot of space, no one near him. He's free to come forward, gets the byline, tries to pull it back to Sensio, gives it away. Now Jimenez is forced to clear it, only as far as Mendy, who keeps coming with the ball. Camavinga's had a go, and it's wide. Bappe wins that from Savic to Adi Amy. Now Real Madrid look to break. But I think Atletico got back in their shape. Jovic is in acres of space there though. It's a great run. 1-2. Probably should be finishing that. Good, good football though. And Atletico Madrid just cannot cope. Adi Amy will bring this up to Ravella, Sensio, back to Camavinga, Mendy now, and that's the end of the highlight. Atletico Madrid coming forward, it's a poor pass though from Gerard Felix, and it comes back, Mbappe out wide, blistering pace. He has a go, Adi Amy has a chance, but it's a good challenge from Divive. We win it again. I mean, we have truly dominated this game from start to finish. Going to look at making some subs. Ravella's having a great game, but he's getting a little bit tired, so can we look at bringing him off? The only player that can replace him is Danny Olmer, which we'll have to do. Who else have we got on the bench? We've got Kubo. He can come on for Asensio. That'll do for now. Into the final 10 minutes, we're going to make our last change. We're going to bring Eden Hazard on for Kylian Mbappe. Hazard's actually had a great season this season. Got chipped in with a lot of goals and assists. And he's actually been one of our top players, probably. This game looks like it's run its course. We're going to run out 5-1 victors. And... Absolutely demolish Atletico Madrid after that demolishing against Barcelona as well. Just showing how much the golfing class is between us and the rest of the league. Right, and here's confirmation of the league. We are champions. We finished on 100 points. We won 33 games out of 38, scoring 148 goals in 38 games. We are double the next highest scoring team, which is Sevilla with 73. So that's 148, what's that per game? Close to four goals a game. Like, absolutely incredible. And we finish with the second best defensive record as well, with only Villarreal conceding less. Which is quite good to be fair, because I think halfway through the season we were conceding more than a goal a game. Now we're conceding, we've conceded less than one a game. Let's have a look at the home form. We lost one game at home, which was against Levante. We scored 98 goals at home in like 19 games. Nearly five goals a game. Absolutely incredible. Away, we obviously drew one and lost three. We scored 50 goals in 19, conceding 18. And I mean, all in all... It, it has been a good season. A bit disappointing that we didn't win the Champions League again <clears throat> after that horrible performance against Liverpool. But next season, we delete at the back. Maybe another signing or two. I think we'll definitely be challenging again. And the league, the 
the gap in the league, I can't see anyone catching up with us in that. So it's Operation performing the Champions League. Right, and here's the end of the season review. So <clears throat> all of the new arrivals. Mbappe got the best rating of a 7.61. And it's clearly obvious why. 40 goals in that many games. Chipped in with 9 assists. Absolutely phenomenal signing. Bastoni, who, yeah, we spent a lot of money to get. But he was a big, big part of what we did this season. One of the best centre-backs in the game. Ravella, developing into a very, very, very good player. Signed him for 17.5 million. And he's going to be around for a good few years. Danny Olmo. Good, good season really um, for what we signed him for. Chipping in with 7 goals and 14 assists. Playing that false 9 role. Obviously only had 21 starts. But he definitely adds to what we've already got up top. Obviously we already know about champion uh, the La Liga. Had the top goal score with Mbappe. We had 36. Champions League. Disappointing, we got knocked out in the quarter final. Not sure who actually won it. Um, can we have a look at that? So, Liverpool obviously knocked us out, so they would have played the semis. But it hasn't been played yet. They've got PSG in the final, so let's just have a quick look at who got into the other semi final. So Liverpool beat Man United and PSG beat Inter 5-1 on aggregate. So it's likely PSG are going to win that. I think they've got Haaland up front as well. Yeah, I just saw his face on there. Yeah, there he is. He's got 28 goals in 38. Not quite on par with what Mbappe's done for us, but still obviously a key player for them. We got knocked out of the Spanish Cup in the quarterfinal by Atletico Madrid. And if I remember right, Atletico Madrid lost in the final to Levante. Yeah, on penalties. There we go. So, not a good season at all for them. Our biggest win of the season was that 11-1 win against the Laves. We had a 6-1 against Granada as well. And goal of the season was Kubo against Arsenal in the Champions League. Finances have actually got slightly better. We are still like in a bit of trouble. But we're not as bad at the end of this season as we was last season in the red. And obviously it'll all get wiped out when we get all our sponsorship at the beginning of the season. Mbappe's shirt obviously was the top seller because he's such a good player. Nice to see Addy Aim is in there as well. And this was our best 11. So Addy Amy up top. With Mbappe, Ravella getting into that midfield, Bastoni as well. And then this is all the accolades. So the fans player of the season was Mbappe, young player of the season was Mbappe, obviously sign of the season. Most assists was Eden Hazard with 18. Adi Amy got the most man of the match awards, 7. Kamavinga got the most passes completed per 90 minutes, which was 71. Courtois broke the record for the most clean sheets with 23. Hazard most assists with 18. And Casemiro, unsurprisingly, with the worst discipline. And then Adi Amy got World Under-21 Football of the Year. Also European Golden Boy. Marla got Danish Player of the Year. Mbappe got French player and Spanish League player of the year. So a very, very good season for um, accolades as well. We looked a class above in the first couple of months of the season. Trendy pick for the top, but of course we show him why. Once we got rolling, there was no stopping us. And now we just look at building for next season. So I don't know if it's here where they tell you what they want. Um, 
obviously it's the same reach the final of the champions league and win the league and our contract also expires this the end of this season I'm very surprised if we don't get offered a new one but if we have a quick look at our team so assistant report this is currently our best 11 Sensio could probably be improved on and maybe Marler at right back but still a very good team saying that we need a bit of better depth which I'd probably agree with but we have got some young players that will be coming through and obviously a lot of these strengths but unfortunately we only have 3.6 million left in the transfer budget so unless we can offload some players there won't really be anyone coming in so before we sign off this season I'm just going to have a look at sort of what players are out on loan that will be coming back that <clears throat> might be playing a part of the squad so obviously we've got um, where's he gone the player at AC Milan that's on loan Diaz it should be down here somewhere for some reason he's not showing on, as on loan but obviously Diaz will, oh there he is Brahim Diaz he'll be coming back from Milan gives us another option for where we can play on either side if it comes to a point where we haven't got a spot for him we can always sell him get the money reinvest elsewhere but I would ideally like to make him into someone that we can use Rodrigo coming back from Roma he's had a good season he's probably one of the ones that we're most likely to get rid of just because I do feel like we have better options and he's not going to develop as much as what them options we have already are. Gutierrez, he's going to come back, be a, a left back option. Might be getting loaned out again because I don't think he's good enough to where I can afford to play him over the likes of Mendy and Alaba. Uh, Svedberg, another midfield option, still only 19, needs game time so he'll likely be getting loaned back out. Nakai as well, another player, plays that midfield role, needs game time. We'll be looking at loaning him back out. Uh, Ren Renier, he's a player that I just don't know whether we will keep. Like I could keep him as a centre mid option and maybe when he comes back we will look at what, posi what players we have in that position. Whether we can like bring him into the rotation or loan him out or even sell him depends on how much we can get for him but apart from that I don't think there's really anyone else coming back that might fit in a rebass maybe but yeah obviously we don't have any transfer funds to go and buy anyone as all of our money will be going on delict and I'm quite intrigued to see how him and Bastoni get on together at the uh, the centre back role. Perfect for um, tutoring Amy as well with that model professional personality. So I might just put him and Bastoni in a mental group with Amy just to help him develop. As Amy will definitely be one of our future centre backs to go with them too. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching and I hope to see you all. Well, again, for next season.